In the last video, I showed you how to create a membership type when we created the professional members. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use membership types with membership applications so that you can start accepting online membership applications through your website. I've gone ahead and created some additional membership types so that you'll be able to see how they relate with our membership applications. To create a new membership application, you will come to the Memberships module menu and over in Membership Applications, you'll select Add. Here is where you start to complete your membership application and you have a description field where it's a WYSIWYG editor, you can add images, you can select the different header text and then you have the confirmation box here and I've created a membership application already to save a little bit of time and we'll walk through some of the fields here where we create the title you can select if you'd like to use it for corporate memberships as well and we'll cover that in the corporate membership training series here is the description where I've added headers descriptions I've uploaded a graphic through the media and then the confirmation box is what your member applicants will see after they've submitted the application so here I said thank you for applying my memberships in that I've set up all require approval so we've let them know here that they will receive an email notifying them that their membership has been approved later on and then we have admin notes that only your site admins are able to see for membership types, you can hold down your control key if you're using a PC or your command key if you're using a Mac and select multiple membership types. If you have additional membership types that you add, they will show up on the applications. So you can have one membership application for all of your membership types or you can have a couple of them if you want to customize them. In this case, I would have the large donor membership type that I've created have a different application since that process for our large annual donors would be a little bit more selective and customized and personal to them. The same thing with payment methods. This is where you select how your members will pay for the membership. You can have them pay through credit card online if you have an integrated merchant account you can have them pay check offline, cash offline. These are options that you set up with your site settings for what you're able to accept later on as well. So I'm going to hold down and accept cash offline or credit card online. Then you can check this box or uncheck it if you want to use a capture form. That's something that you would have set up in your site settings earlier on. Then we have the administrative section where you have the selective permission controls based on the group permissions created from the membership types, member and user permissions. For this one, I would like the, anyone who visits the site and is interested in joining be able to see and apply for the memberships. So I'm going to keep it as public can view. And then you can choose active status detail. Now I'm going to switch back to the blank membership form for a minute because I want to show you that before you have first saved your application, as you can see here, these form fields are not here in a new application. After you've saved your new membership application, you will be brought back to the editing view and this time these form fields will be visible and each of these fields contains the information you're going to collect from your applicants so that you know who they are. Some of them are required by the tenancy software like the first name, last name, membership type, payment information, and their email address. The rest of them you can add and customize and you can add as many different fields as you would like. So, and you can make them required uh, whether it's something only the admin can view, whether it has to be a unique item or not, and if it can be exportable in the member export. So it's as simple as label would be whatever you want it to be called as the field. So for organization that might be their company name, 
that would be a text field. I don't feel like that would need to be required. And then the help text is there so that when they're filling out the application, they understand what information you want for them to put in the box. And then we can save this application, and you'll be able to see what it looks like once it's finished. So to see what the application will look like, you simply click on this link right here. And here is our Become a Member application. So that's how you create a membership application.